Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy the given exponential equation. Now, to solve this problem, we must start by reminding ourselves that log to base 3 squared of x is simply equal to log to base 3 of x all squared. So we can rewrite this first term as 3 to the power log to base 3 of x to the power log to base 3 of x. Because remember, when we have a to the power m raised to power n, this is simply equal to a to the power m times n. And of course, when n is equal to m, this is going to be a to the power m times m, which is a to the power m squared, which is exactly what we have in this case. Now, of course, here we still have x to the power log to base 3 of x, and this is equal to 162. Now, look at this, and remember that a to the power log to base a of b is simply equal to b. So, 3 to the power log to base 3 of x is simply equal to x. So, this is x to the power log to base 3 of x plus x to the power log to base 3 of x is equal to 162. Now, we have two of the same thing. So, this is simply going to be equal to 2 times x to the power log to base 3 of x is equal to 162. And of course, we can now divide both sides of this equation by 2. When we do that, we have that x to the power log to base 3 of x is equal to 162 divided by 2. That is 162 over 2. 2 into itself is 1, into 16 is 8, and into 1, or rather into 2, is 1. So from here, we have that x to the power log to base 3 of x is equal to 81. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to take log of both sides of this equation. And of course, we are going to take log to base 3. So we have that log to base 3 of x to the power log to base 3 of x is equal to log to base 3 of 81. But of course, we know that 81 is equal to 3 to the fourth power. So this is equal to log to base 3 of 3 to the power 4. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule of logarithms to the left-hand side of this equation. Of course, you know that the power rule says that we can bring down this exponent to the front of this equation to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have that log to base 3 of x, that is this, multiplied by log to base 3 of x, that is this, is equal to log to base 3 of 3 to the fourth power. But let us also remember that log to base a of a to the power b is equal to b. So log to base 3 of 3 to the power 4 is equal to 4. And of course, here we have log to base 3 of x multiplied by log to base 3 of x. So this is log to base 3 of x squared is equal to 4. And now, when you look at this, you know that the next thing that we are going to do to find the value of log to base 3 of x is to take square root of both sides of this equation. So we have that log to base 3 of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4. And of course, from here, we have that log to base 3 of x is equal to plus or minus 2. Now, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 3 to this power 
is equal to x. So from here, we have that x is equal to 3 to the power plus or minus 2. We have two values of x. The first one is 3 to the power 2. And the second one is 3 to the power minus 2. Of course, 3 to the power 2 is equal to 9. And 3 to the power 2 is equal to 1 over 3 squared, which is equal to 1 over 9. So these are the two values of x that satisfy this exponential equation. Now, to check whether the values of x that we calculated are right, we substitute into the original equation. We have 3. Log to base 3 of x. When x is 3 to the power minus 2 is minus 2. So here we have minus 2. And of course, this is squared plus x is 3 to the power minus 2. And this is raised to the power log to base 3 of x, which is minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. Minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. 3 to the power 4 is 81. 81 plus 81 is equal to 162. In the second case, x is equal to 3 to the power 2. And log to base 3 of x is equal to 2. So we replace all the negatives with positive. 3 to the power plus 2 squared. Plus 2 squared is 4. So this is still right. Here we have plus 2 times plus 2, which is also equal to 4. So this is still right. We still have 81 plus 81, which is equal to 162. And this is still right. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.